Hello darling, I'm Jackie. Have you ever had a girls night or a date night and you want to do something nice with your hair? Uh, one of those fancy people might call it an updo. Um, for me, an updo is one of two things. A ponytail that's about here or a ponytail which is about here. I like to, you know, a little bit of variety, mix it up sometimes. So uh, my hairstylist Libby is here to show us maybe a couple other ideas um, to help give a little bit more variety to the updos. So this is going to be very simple stuff, very easy, should be able to do this out of your house. Um, I've already started to curl Jackie's hair and I don't need to curl it to make it curly. I'm just curling to add a little bit of texture, a little bit more um, hold for her hair. So I'm just going to show you a couple curls. I actually start in the middle of the hair strand and I bend it around and we just want to get that the warmest because that's where we're going to get most of the curl. And then we're just going to tap the heat through the ends to make it look nice. And that's all you want. You just want a little bit of bend. We're going to do a couple more here. Jackie also has bangs and I'm going to show you guys how to curl those, I think, correctly for an updo. Oftentimes when we're blow drying our bangs, we're really round brushing them down or combing them so that they don't flip. We're going to actually do the opposite when it comes to, I'm saying a lot of actuallys, but we're going to get in here with the bangs. We're going to just grab a hold of them and give them a little bit of a flip. And I'm just lightly gripping it so that we can get a little bit of flip. That's a lot of bit of flip. We don't want a lot of bit of flip. We're going for a little bit of flip. <laughs> So I'm actually going to bring a little bit more bend. There we go. And this will look really cute with the updo. All right, so that's all the heat we need in there. After the curls cool, we're going to go in and we're going to just shake those curls out with our hands. Again, we're not going for curly hair, we're just going for a little bit of texture. There we go. Now I'm going to use my comb. I'm going to use the fine teeth on the comb and we're going to add some back combing. This is not ratting like the 80s. This is back combing. This will keep your hair from getting tangled, but it'll give you volume. So I'm going to use my comb like this. I'm going to actually go in circles like riding a bike and we're going to push the hair down just like this. Okay? Now add a little bit of lift to her hair. I'm going to go over into this section, do the same thing. You see those circles that we're going through. Nice thing about circles, you're not tangling the hair onto itself. You're just pushing it down onto itself and then you get this little bit of padding. That way, at the end of the night, when you're ready to comb it out, it's super easy because it's only in one direction. So back into little circles. And then we're going to take the comb and we're just going to lightly go over it. Just to kind of smooth it out so she doesn't look like a ragamuffin. <laughs> Add that bit of volume for her night out. Okay. Now, we're going to just put a little bit of a loose braid on this side. I'm obsessed with my loose braids. I think that they are so easy. It pulls all the hair back and doesn't let so much loose. It makes it easier for all the hair to be pulled into a ponytail. So we're going to loose braid it. And if we put all those curls in there, so now we'll have a little more texture in the braid. We're going to tie it off. And now we're going to pull on the little bits of hair just to loosen up that braid. Again, kind of make it a little bit messy, a little bit more volume, and it gives you that look of you worked really hard when you didn't. Now, we're going to take the ends and we're going to tuck them in and we're going to roll them up into underneath the braid itself. Something about bobby pins you've got to know is you want them to go perpendicular to the way the hair is naturally falling. So the hair is naturally falling this way, so we want it to go perpendicular this way. And I'll pin the other side. Remember, perpendicular to the way the hair is naturally falling. I think we'll use about three bobby pins, three, four bobby pins. And we're just kind of tucking this to give it a good shape and show off that bit of braid and texture in there. So that took one rubber band and it looks like it's going to be about four bobby pins. And there's one up to great going out night. <laughs>